Hey, Coach Greg here with Spell Training, and today we have an ankle and wrist mobility routine. This is gonna be a fun one, especially if maybe you have sore or weak wrists and ankles, maybe you're always like spraining them, whatever it is, these are gonna be some nice, uh, safe exercises that you can do right now that will help strengthen them, alleviate any pain, we'll have a great time doing it, so let's get started. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be doing things a little differently. I'm gonna be taking this first set, 30 seconds of just walking you through the exercises while you follow along, and then immediately right after, we are gonna do 30 seconds of the actual exercise. This way, we can just get right into the meat of it without too long of explanation, so you actually can see results immediately. So let's get started with our first exercise. Alrighty, we're gonna be doing some palm rotations. Now, a lot of these Exercises we're gonna be doing are gonna be a little different. Maybe you're not used to them, but again, we wanna be able to strengthen our wrists and especially strengthen our ankles. These are the things that hold our appendages, our, our hands, our feet, everything that we do, uh, we do with them. So why wouldn't we wanna strengthen the things that they are attached to, if that makes sense. So we're gonna do palm rotations, 30 seconds on the clock. Hands to your side, and all we're gonna be doing is focusing on turning the hands over and rotating it as we go. These type of exercises are great. You're gonna feel it all the way up in your shoulder as well and your elbow. We're just getting our wrists used to these type of rotations. Don't push yourself um, to, through pain, right? There, you shouldn't be feeling any pain, these, these type of exercises. We're just trying to focus on rotating the hands over and getting the palms facing this way. All right, so here we go, we're gonna do that was 30 seconds, now let's actually go through the motions. Now that you know exactly what you're doing, 30 seconds on the clock again. Here we go, three, two, one. Couple more seconds here, three, two, and one. Great job. All right, next we're gonna be doing some wrist flexion. This is always fun. What I like to do is we're gonna do 15 seconds um, each hand. Just put your hand up as if you're doing stop, just like this, and we're gonna grab our other hand and try to gently pull back on our fingers. We're just getting our wrist used to being in this flexion mode. Now, normally, in these posi this position is usually used for push-ups, planks, things like that, so we just really wanna make sure that we are strengthening um, our wrist. So here we go, 15 seconds each side. So you're just gonna pull back gently, almost like I pulse with it, if you will. So because you don't wanna you don't wanna jam it or hurt yourself, so just really just gently just pull back slightly. I try to keep my arm straight, but you can keep your uh, elbow slightly bent. All right, switch hands. Here you go again. Stop, grab, and then boom. Just like that. And if you haven't really been stretching your <laughs> wrists or flexing them like this, then this will either feel really good or they'll be really sore, but don't worry, it's gonna be um, good for you in the long run. All right, that's 30 seconds. Now that you know what you're doing, shake your hands out. Here we go. 15 seconds both side again, and here we go. Just pull back gently. Make sure you're breathing. Three, two, and one. Not gonna lie, my arm's already tired just from that, but hey, my wrists are feeling really good. All right, last of the wrist mobility, we are gonna be doing some wrist curls. Now, you probably have been used to turning your wrists like this. I don't know if you ever had to do that in gym class. I did, at least all the martial arts I had to do. I had to like learn how to, you know, turn my wrist like that, but we're gonna do a wrist curl. Now normally, what we're used to curls are bicep curls, right? Where you are lifting the weight and really trying to um, squeeze up here, but now we're gonna go lower on the arm and doing that with our wrist. Now if you are strong, you can use some dumbbells, that kind of stuff, but I believe body weight is 
plenty. I like to grab my arm right, uh, um, I guess below or above, <laughs> whichever orientation you feel it works, uh, my wrist, and then all I'm doing is focusing on curling it, just like that. I try to keep it straight. I'm trying to make sure that all the motion is just coming from my wrist. I try to bring it as far back down as I can, and I try to, as if I'm trying to touch my knuckles uh, to my forearm. So we'll do 30 seconds, 15 seconds each side. Here we go, and let's do it. You're gonna feel all like the tendons and the little muscles in your arm being activated. So this is good. Just be gentle with yourself. Don't, don't try to force your arm and your wrist in a position it's not used to. This is just gonna help it be bulletproof over the long run. So let's switch arms. Let's focus on curling. Again, once you get used to this, you can actually use dumbbells and you can really strengthen up your forearm and your wrist. A couple more seconds, three, two, and one. Shake it out. We're gonna go again. Three, two, one. Let's start again. Let's really focus, being intentional about curling from the wrist. Make sure you're breathing through this whole thing, right? Put oxygen <laughs> into it, all right? Breathe through it. And again, if you feel sore, you feel a pinch or tightness, then stop. Don't, don't push yourself past that. There's no need for that. You do stuff like this um, every day, switch sides, you will get stronger and stronger. So you don't have to like force yourself to do everything all at once. Just a little bit each day is plenty. A couple more seconds. Three, two, and one. Great job. Shake your wrist. Hopefully they feel great. Now we're gonna to get to the ankle portion of this mobility routine. We're gonna start off with some calf raises. Calf raises are a standard for any type of leg workout. Um, I prefer elevated, just because you're really able to get your foot into this type of position, which helps stretch the tibialis muscle, but being on the ground is perfectly okay. If you need to grab something, feel free. All we're trying to do is stand strong, right? I like to stand a little, um, shoulder width apart, a little in more, so that it gives me more of a stable base for me. So then as I raise up, I try to get up onto the balls of my feet, and then I really try to stretch and tighten my calf muscles. So we'll be doing 30 seconds of these. Here we go. Now, if you have trouble raising up on your feet, then just do one, one at a time, just like that. Or if you have to grab onto something, really grab up the goal is we want to tight you want to really like contract that muscle because all of this is connected right yes we're strengthening our ankles but if we can strengthen everything around it it puts less pressure right just like that a couple more seconds and down all right shake out your legs we're getting right back into it now that you know what you're doing and here we go in three two one, all right, raise up. If you want, you can stay up there. It's really, again, contract, contract. Make sure you're squeezing. Just getting used to being on the balls of our feet. Your feet have to hold all your weight and your ankles are the one uh, who also have to, every step that you take, right? It has to flex, it has to hold all that. So by just doing these type of exercises, it makes them less stiff less rigid and more adaptable to the things you want to do in your daily life. Three more seconds, three. And hold, 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 and drop. Great job. Now that we're used to being on the balls of our feet, we are gonna do our next exercise, which are toe walks. Now normally when you're walking, you are going, you know, heel to toe or toe to heel, that kind of stuff. But for this, we're just gonna see if we can rise or raise up onto the balls of our feet and stay there, and the goal is to walk around just the balls of our feet with our calves flex. So we'll put 30 seconds on, and here we go. Now the purpose of this, obviously you don't wanna be going around in your daily life just walking on your toes, but if you, will, if you wear heels, then most likely y'all are used to this, I'm not. But this is just a great way of just getting uh, more ankle flexion, more mobility in your toes and just getting used to your toes being activated and being just like we were pulling back 
on our fingers. We want, it's almost the same thing we're doing on our toes. Now, if you can't walk around with it, maybe have like a, a railing or a banister or hold on to something. It'll work just as well. Okay, cool. 30 seconds. You should feel a tightness in your calves. Just do some circles real quick. Get them out. We're going to do 30 seconds again. Here we go. In three, two, one. Here you go. Back up on your toes and just walk casually around. Just like that. Again, we're just getting our toes and our ankles used to being able to carry our weight. That's the whole job. Sometimes if you're too flat footed, you know, you're just used to walking like this, but then you make one wrong step, you roll your ankle. I've rolled my ankles plenty of times in basketball, volleyball, whatever sport I was doing. So learning how to walk on my toes has helped tremendously. Okay, come up a couple more seconds. Three, two, and one, and drop. Feel good? I feel good. Last but not least, we are gonna be doing some heel walks. We just walked on our toes. Now let's walk on our heels. Putting our legs or our feet in this position is great for stretching out the shin muscle, um, the tibialis, all this stuff. A lot of knee pain, a lot of uh, shin splints. I don't know if you've heard of that, like especially a lot of runners deal with that. Um, it's because we are not used to uh, stopping or being in this type of position. We're used to being up here or being flat footed, but normally when your body decelerates, it decelerates in heel first. So by getting used to putting all our weight on our heels as we're walking, it is going to make your life so much easier. So let's put 30 seconds on and here we go. So really just focus on being on your heels. I like to think of my toes trying to touch my shins. You're gonna feel a tightness all up in your shins. Don't worry, that is good. And if you can't walk around like this, hold on to something and just get used to doing this or just do one at a time, just like that. Again, we're really trying to focus on strengthening that tibialis muscle in here. You're gonna, feel, you're gonna see it flex, just like that. All right, that's 30 seconds. Shake it out. Last 30 seconds, here we go, come on. I believe in you. Up on those heels in three, two, and one. This definitely looks funny, right? You're like, what? what is that person doing? But here's the thing, sometimes you have to do the unorthodox in order to actually get the results that you want in life, right? If you're only focusing on the status quo and what everyone else is doing, everyone else is very stiff and not flexible. So that's what you want, keep doing it. Keep sitting all day, doing whatever you want, but these type of exercises will give you that bulletproofing that your body needs. All right, here we go, almost done. I know you're feeling it, I'm feeling it. Couple more seconds, three, two, and release. Great job, shake it out, just like that. So there you have it, that was your ankle and wrist mobility routine. I hope you like these exercises. Feel free to start this video again if you uh, wanna do these exercises again. The purpose of this, again, is to give you different knowledge, different exercise that you can add to your daily routine without feeling like you have to go to a gym or spend a bunch of money, whatever it is. So uh, leave it any comments if you feel like these exercises helped you or if you wanna see more stuff like this, I would love to hear from you. Also, while you're at it, just click the notification bell to stay on top of any new videos dropping. I'm Coach Greg, and I will see you in the next one. Stay strong, my friend.